Hey, how y'all doing, man? Welcome to Music Motivation Ministries. WWM3 Record. I'm Tom Nosiki Elvis Abo, also known as African Elvis. And today we're going to be talking about Ecclesiastes 7. 1 to 15. Alright, as we go. Ecclesiastes 7. A good name is better than precious ointment, and the day of death than the day of one's birth. It is better to go to the house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting, for that is the end of all men, and the living will lay it to his heart. Sorrow is better than laughter, for by the sadness of the countenance the heart is made better. The heart of the wise is in the house of mourning, but the heart of fools is in the house of mirth. It is better to hear the rebuke of the wise than for a man to hear the song of fools. Hey, and it said, man, verse 1, it's better to have a good and precious name than money. You know, a man should want to have a good name, a good reputation. You feel me? A good reputation is more is worth more than money. So that's why I want to have a reputation for my teaching. You no, know? giving knowledge. So it is better to go to the house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting. It's good to go to the house of mourning because when you go to the house of mourning, you realize that time is short. But when you're in the house of feasting, people eat. And people forget, and people tend to feel like, see, when people have money, you around rich people, they tend to feel like unstoppable. You feel me? But when you in out some morning when people dead, you feel me? You, you realize that time is short. You feel me? So you try to embrace life as you can. They say, so is better than laughter. For by sadness of the countenance, the heart is made better. See, sorrow is better than laughter. Laughter is good, it passes pain, but sorrow is better. Because in laughter, you know what I'm saying, you, you, you don't receive instruction. But when you are sorrow or something bad happened to you, and you sad, you know what I'm saying, you listen, your ears are open to listen to the, the advice of people. When you down, you get more advice. When you laugh, and you don't get advice. And it said, "The heart of the wise is in the house of mourning, but the heart of fools is in the house of mill." See, fools think everything is a joke, just like the government and all these lying ass pastors. They think this seventeen weeks is a joke. You know what I'm saying? Fools always think everything is a joke. You know what I'm saying? But wise people take things serious. You feel me? Wise thing people take things serious and they mourn, which is they're always down on the floor, always watching out for the next turn. And say it's better to hear the rebuke of a wise than of a man to hear the song of fool. See, I want to be rebuked. So that's why I be telling all you government people and all, but I want to be rebuked by wise people. Then listen to your constant nagging and lying and pleading for help, knowing that you don't want to do the right thing. It's better. Let's keep reading. For as the crackling of thorns under a pot, so is the laughter of the fool. This also is vanity. Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad, and a gift destroyeth the heart. Better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. And the patient in spirit is better than the proud in spirit. Be not hasty in thy spirit to be angry, for anger resteth in the bosom of fools. Say not thou, What is the cause that the former days were better than these? For thou dost not inquire wisely concerning this. So, it's saying that 
a fool, the laughter of fools. See, fools try to laugh at people and tend to pull people down, and they try to make make mockery of people, and they think they eat wise. The laughter of fools is like a crackling of the pot. It's vanity. You know what I'm saying? It's worthless. Even if they're trying to play you, play me like this government trying to play me, you feel me? You feel me? They do all that shit. At the end of the day, it's vain. Because at the end of the day, you go out there and you come back and you still need my help. You feel me? See, it said, sure oppression wake a wise man mad and a gift destroy the heart. See, oppression, when people oppress wise people, it makes them mad and drive them crazy when they do people good, people bad. You feel me? You turn a good person bad. But a false gift, betrayal gift, you know what I'm saying? Destroy the heart. See, you feel me? Better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. And the patient in spirit is better than the proud in spirit. See, it's better. It's the end of a thing. It's better to be at the end of a journey or a situation or circumstance or the end of a project than be at the beginning. Because at the beginning, you start and you learn and you, you're new to it. You're not familiarized to it. So you don't know what to expect. When you at the end of it, you will almost run out. So it's better to be towards the end where you almost finish with your stuff and be at the beginning. And patient and a patient spirit. Somebody that's patient is better than a man that brags and boasts and brags about himself but has no value like Donald Trump. Do you understand? It's better to be patient and humble. Some people take humility because you're humble. Some simply take it as a weakness. You feel me? But humility is not a weakness. It is a strength. Because it takes only self-control for somebody to control themselves and to humble themselves before an arrogant fool that thinks he's wise but he's stupid as hell. Be not hasty in the spirit to anger, for anger rested in the bosom of fools. See, I want to send this to the black man and the black community. The black community always are always quick to anger. They are always quick to fight, quick to war, quick to kill, quick to shoot. Film. The thing about anger is. When you are angry, you don't think clear. So, when you angry, you don't think clear. And then when you make decisions, when you angry, you know what I'm saying? You 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 make hasteful decisions, and you end up not making the right decision. So try to control your anger. Say not doubt it is the cause of the former days, were better than these. For thou does not inquire wisely concerning this. Because just because you have some good days and now you have them bad days. See, that doesn't mean that just because you have a good day, you been had you had good days, now you have bad days. Does not mean that. You're not going to have good days. You're probably just going through a storm that you just need to wear out and ride out the storm. Sometimes the bad days we go through is God preparing us for a better us. It's God building our character. It's God molding us. So try to be more patient and be more enjoying. You know what I'm saying? Learn to live with nothing. If you can live with, with, with nothing, not a dime, not a dollar, you can survive with not a dime, not a dollar. You could survive anywhere.